Hello everyone, this is Amanda from Crafty Fit and today I am showing you guys some of the um, travelers pages that I made and I will be working on one with you guys just to show you guys kind of what I do and my thoughts around, you know, trying this traveler's notebook at the first time. Um, it's been a while since I've done any kind of project like this. So I am using the uh, Magical Birthday by Simple Stories and I'm trying to use this whole thing. Uh, there's no going back. Like I am, I am ready to use all of this up and just kind of have fun and create. Sometimes I hold myself back. Um, so I did create the first one and it's just a page that is, you know, saying it's a magical birthday and, um, birthday party. And, um, even though this wasn't the theme for the birthday, I still feel like the colors go really well with what I am working on. So I do have to go in and kind of re-adhere some of these because I feel like, I don't know, maybe they, maybe they'll be fine, but for some reason I thought they would come off. I put like a little trim on the side because this layout or this like um, page, they're really kind of small. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that because some of my photos are pretty big. So I have some chipboard pieces. I have some stickers. I have this four by six card. I have another chipboard piece. And then the side is the first page that I technically made, which I really, really love it so much. Um, I love all the colors and I just kind of went with like having like a, um, flowered themed. And so I put birthday girl and just kind of a picture of Miss Stella in her outfit. And so, and then I used one of the little recollections bows to just kind of, you know, mimic the bow that's in her hair. So for the next one, because I did kind of figure out... I'm not going to add any more to these, so I'm going to be doing, um, I divided my photos into what I wanted to do. So for this half of the, lay, this half of the book, I'm going to be using the cake photos and, um, just kind of the presents and everybody at the party. So that is for that half. And then this half is going to be just like pictures of Miss Stella and family and just kind of documenting, you know, all of us having fun. So um, I have all these pictures. And so I have three small pictures, three large pictures. And I have one, two, three um, of these little layouts. So I think my plan is to probably, um, I might just decorate this side, talk about the day and all that stuff. And then, um, this side is going to be, let me see, this side is going to be probably these smaller photos. And then this one right here is going to be the larger photos. So that is my plan. Um, for what I'm doing right now. Um, so right now I'm just going to document this right here um, and just kind of, you know, write something and just kind of add some things to it. So I figured I'd show you guys kind of what I have, what I'm working on um, and all that jazz. So I do have some of the, I do have some of these cards, which are super cute. And there's one right here that has like the flowers. So I'm thinking I might try to use that on this layout or on this side. And I think that's probably it for this. So that's my plan to use that kind of, um, you know, layer some um, paper on it. And then I will go in and try to add maybe some, I have like some flowers and stuff. So I want, really want to use the flowers with this one. So I'll be back and I will show you guys what this looks like once I am done. Okay, everyone. So I have completed this side of the page. 
I really, really like how it turned out. I put some stickers on there. I put some more chipboard. I used some of the ephemera. I used this little journaling card and um, just so I can write about her day and just, you know, kind of explain how the day went. So I really, really love how quick and easy this is coming together. It is getting a little chunky, but I mean, this is the only thing that's going to go into this album. So I kind of feel like that's okay. So the next one I'm going to be working on is involving the, these three photos and the balloons. Um, so I have a lot of balloons, um, for her. So I think that is going to be for the next two pages. So what I will do is I will probably work on this one and I'll show you guys next time what, um, you know, this page, because I am going to have to be breaking these down. Um, so that might be a thing because I might have to, um, you know, use this one on the side and then go to the next one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I really don't know how this is going to plan out, but I do love what I've made so far. Um, I'm really excited with how it, it has turned out and, uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Don't know what I'm going to do for the cover yet. Um, because this is kind of like a, like a felt like fabric. I don't know if anything's going to stick to it. So that is my only issue. Like I have these chipboard pieces. Oh, excuse me. And they are too long for this. So I don't really know what I'm going to do for the first page, but I figured I'd show you guys kind of where I'm at with this. And I'm super excited to go on to the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different, um, but I really am enjoying playing with this and kind of creating smaller pages. Um, I noticed that I do like the smaller photos, so that might be an issue come time when I'm doing the bigger ones. I don't know. Don't know how I'm going to do this, but I am having fun. So that's all that matters. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.